Here we go, the men's final, the championship round of Red Bull Crashed Ice, the Ice Cross Downhill World Championship 2016. Here we go, the men's final from Munich. On course, Cameron Noss immediately out of the gate. Like he said in his interview with Claudio Caluri, he gets off to a fast start. Scott Croxall is right there with them, though. Kyle Croxall, his big brother, trailing in third place. Tristan Dujardil, who I thought was going to get out to a faster start, had the egregious gate start or a gate uh, location in number four. And right now, Scott is looking good. Oh, he took a bit too much air, though. That might cost him here at the last jump. Scott's gonna have second place behind Cameron Noss. Cameron Noss takes two in a row, actually three in a row you mentioned earlier, off of last season's win at the end of the season in Edmonton. What a fantastic heat there for Cameron Noss, two in a row in 2016. Yeah, most definitely, and you know, his intensity, his dedication, and his determination is shining through. We've got the most Americans ever participating in Ice Cross Downhill, and I said this a few years ago when we were in St. Paul, Minnesota, we have woken the sleeping dragon because then they were showing some serious talent and they have exploded into the Ice Cross Downhill scene. And Cameron Noss takes a solid win here with a second place, Scott Croxall, and a third place, Kyle Croxall, in Munich, Germany, at stop number two of the Red Bull Crash Ice. If you look at the grassroots, just in the United States, based a lot in Minnesota, a lot of hockey players, yeah. a lot of skaters there, a lot of inline skaters out of Minneapolis. We're gonna have the final there in St. Paul, Minnesota. A lot of the guys here, representing the U.S., are from that area, so we are gonna see a big time final in St. Paul, Minnesota. But first, we gotta go to those Riders' Cups, and we also have to have our major in Finland before that. Make sure you uh, check out the best shots on Instagram at Crash Dice. And there are some great shots guaranteed this weekend, and I think somebody in the audience just got a free POV camera as that one flew off the helmet of Kyle Croxall. And there you see our winner, Cameron Knox.